today we are going to study about different soils of india this is a very important chapter in class 4 social studies come along study with me the different types of soils that are found in india are alluvial soil black soil red soil laterite soil mountain soil and desert soil if you will see the key and read it you will see where are these different soils located on the map of india in this we will learn about the importance of soil as a natural resource and the types of soils found in india so children important questions that we need to answer are where do you find soil do you grow plants in your houses is soil required for growing plants why do you think soil is necessary so all these questions you will definitely have in your mind and through this video we are going to answer each question how do we use soil we depend on the soil for many things in villages people use mud to make the walls of their houses we make cloth from plants like cotton and jute which in turn need soil to live most people in india depend on agriculture for their livelihood hence it is very important and one of our most important natural resource and let's see how it is important let's see how it is formed how soil is formed rocks on the earth are broken down into small pebbles by rain flowing water and the roots of plants all of this is a natural phenomena it's a natural process so it begins by the breaking down of the rocks so rocks on the earth are broken down into small pebbles by rain flowing water and the roots of plants these pebbles break down further to form tiny bits of soil wind rain and rivers carry the soil to different places remains of dead plants and animals mix with the soil to make it more fertile it takes more than 100 years for nature to make just 1 cm of soil so it's a natural process which has taken over hundreds of years millions of years where the natural resource soil is formed what are the different layers of the soil there are different layers of the soil under the ground the main layers of the soil are top soil subsoil and the parent rock each layer has its own characteristic these features of each layer of soil play a very important role in determining the use of the soil soil which has developed at least three layers is called the mature soil so the important ones are the top soil subsoil and the parent rock and children what is humus it's a new term what is humus as decomposition of dead plant matter and animals occur nutrients held within the plant matter or animal is released to the soil this end result of the decomposition is known as humus so basically humans humus is the dead remains of plant matter and animals and how is distribution of soil happening in the indian mainland we have forest soil black soil arid or the desert soil alluvial soils laterite soils and red and yellow soils and this is how it is distributed if we read the color code or the color key you will find that forest soil is brown in color so forest soil essentially you will find it in the himalayan region and parts of northeast india then we have the alluvial soil alluvial soil is found in the northern plains it is one of the most fertile soils of india then we have the black soil 
then you can see with the color red or the yellow soil arid soil is essentially in the desert area which is also known as the desert soil and then we have the laterite soil so all these soils we are going to study in detail so essentially there are six main types of soils found in india these different types of soils are suitable for growing different types of crops that is why such a wide variety of crops are grown in india so let's look at alluvial soil first we have already read that the rivers of the northern plains bring with them large quantities of silt or alluvium this gets deposited around the rivers the soil is very fertile and is called alluvial soil it makes the northern plains one of the most fertile regions of the world alluvial soils is also found in the deltas formed by the rivers of the deccan plateau the crops that are grown in alluvial soil are rice wheat sugarcane pulses or the dals that you eat oil seeds the seeds from which we get different oils like the sunflower sunflower oil or the mustard oil so different oils that we get from different seeds jute jute crop also grows well in alluvial soil then we have black soils which which is essentially black in color this type of soil is found in the central and the northwestern parts of the southern plateau most of the maharashtra madhya pradesh parts of telangana andhra pradesh gujarat karnataka and rajasthan have this type of soil black soils is formed from the lava that comes out of volcanoes it is very good for cotton and sugarcane black soil can retain water for a long time this soil is sticky in nature which is suitable for growing crops like cotton sugarcane and paddy red soil by its name the soil is red in color rest of the southern plateau contains soil that is red in color as you can see on the map of india it is not as fertile as black soil but can be made fertile by adding manure and what is manure manure is actually the animal dung used for increasing the fertility of soil it is good for crops such as jowar bajra and groundnut this is bajra this is jowar groundnut the moongfali that you eat laterite soil this type of soil is found in western ghats and parts of tamil nadu it is rich in iron and aluminium and is red in color it is good for crops such as tea coffee spices coconut and rubber desert soil it contains mostly sand it is found mainly in rajasthan and gujarat sandy soil cannot hold much water it is therefore not fertile not many crops can be grown in the sandy soil or the desert soil and then we have the mountain soil which essentially you will find in the himalayan region or the mountain area mountain soil is very very rich in humus humus is the remains of dead plants and animals the minerals present in the humus makes the soil very fertile mountain soil is found in the himalayan region and in the north eastern part of india the soil is very good for growing fruits such as apple pear peach and plum all right now that we have studied about the types of soils we will study what is soil erosion a new terminology so what do we mean by soil erosion the top layer of the soil is carried away by wind and water to a different place this is called the soil erosion so whenever there are natural phenomena of excessive wind blowing or water flowing the top layer of the soil is carried away by this action so this is known as soil erosion
it makes the land infertile so what is the impact of soil erosion it makes the land infertile it reduces the fertility of the land roots of plants hold the soil together and prevent soil erosion deforestation causes an increase in soil erosion so if we cut more trees it will definitely lead to more of soil erosion so how can we prevent it by afforestation soil erosion can be prevented covering bare farmland with grass or dried vegetation terrace farming in hills and building embankments along river banks are some other methods of preventing soil erosion 